Hi everyone, I've got loads to talk about over these past few weeks, it's been pretty crazy. Uh, I'm gonna like make a video about my trip to Vegas and back which was a life-changing experience and was just incredible. You know, I have so much that I could talk about, about my work and about the stuff that I've got planned coming up and it's just been really great. So I really look forward to telling you guys all about it. But for now we have Cosmo Slip Rider. It's another Cosmo card and because I love this archetype, you know, I've, as I talked about when I painted Cosmo Town a couple of weeks ago, I just love the juxtaposition of the Wizard of Oz and Star Wars and the colours and everything. I mean this card's actually a very very nice and simple card to paint so I've been watching this video you might kind of pick up some some text and some little sort of context as to the sort of colours that you might want to use for a space style background and you know matching colours that kind of thing it's quite simple similar to how my old Shadow Dragon painting went it's got a very similar colour scheme. Now one of the things I wanted to talk about in this video is a lot of people are sending me messages asking about purchasing uh, some of the cards that I've painted or making commissions or anything like that and I'm extremely thankful that people would want to do that. But the trouble I've had up until now is I'm not entirely sure how you would price something like that. You know at the end of the day these cards are not tournament legal which is something else I wanted to be absolutely uh, clear on. Excuse me and I wanted to make sure that people knew what these were for. These are meant as display pieces and nothing more. You know, these are cards that I have taken great lengths to try and make into things that people would enjoy and it was always an intention for me to get some online exposure which I'm very thankful what I've got so far but the fact that I've had so many messages asking me about purchasing some of these cards has made me sort of wonder about how to go about doing so. So, I mean if you kind of have a vague idea of how much that you think that you would want to pay for a card like these um, then just leave a comment or send me a message get a hold of me on the Joseph of Facebook page um, just see what you think and then we can go from there and then the communication will really help me sort of learn how to price these things up particularly with Yu-Gi-Oh cards magic cards it's a lot easier for me to price these things because they are tournament legal in a lot of places and I mean, they're not tournament legal everywhere, but they're tournament legal in quite a few places. I've seen a lot of um, coverage where people have been using painted cards. And generally, you kind of price those as the value of the card plus the sort of the amount of time it was taking. You know, people treat it like a foil version of the card. So, you know, if you treat it as its highest rarity kind of thing, it'll probably add maybe 10 to 15 pounds on top of the value of the card or something like that but it also depends entirely on the length of time it takes me to make these cards you know some cards are quite simple like Cosmo Slip Rider where it will take you know anywhere from an hour to an hour and a half whereas a card like Cosmo Town takes significantly longer because they're a lot more detailed and you know uh, so it, it, you, know, you have to kind of gauge a price from that kind of range and the time it takes the amount of materials I have to use uh, the difficulty of the card itself and you know my capabilities I mean, I'm fairly confident I can do most things I mean I've done some expensive cards in the past but still it's but it's best to keep these things open but as I said I mean if you if it's something that you're interested in please leave a comment you know in the comments below and you know let me know and then it will go from there uh, going back to Cosmo Slip Rider I mean I have yet to actually manage to come up with a deck list for Cosmo and I could actually do with some help with it so again if you've got any ideas for comments and stuff because I mean the Jurigido build A is not legal in the UK because we don't have Jurigido because we never got Battle Pack Battle City and uh, or Duelist Pack Battle City sorry and we you know it seems very one trick pony-esque and I quite like a bit of versatility in my decks so if you have any ideas for me then please like throw them my way and I might be able to feature it in a video or something so that would be really cool but yeah I mean for now I will leave you with the rest of this video and I will speak to you guys soon and thank you very much for watching and I'll leave you guys to it see you later actually still see his artwork from my character card because it's now my profile picture